Hello. Um, so the the round table is around is um, is about the or capacity to inspire others. So I will try to say a few words uh, about that. Are we able to provide some inspiration? Inspiration to the general public, inspiration to the supervisors, maybe, as Gabriel uh, stayed with us. Um, I believe we, ha we have uh, two, uh, two fundamental assets um, as mutuals. The first one is uh, our long-term perspective. In a word, obsessed, uh, with uh, short-term uh, issues, obsessed with Twitter, obsessed with communication. Um, it's quite a privilege uh, to have a long-term perspective. It's quite, uh, um, indeed, um, a chance. It was regarded maybe as something outdated. Oh, you are so long-term, you are so passé in a world where we are so obsessed with the short-term. But in fact, uh, what a chance, what a privilege not to be a listed company, not to be obsessed with quarterly uh, reporting. Um, and um, I worked with SCORE, I worked with uh, Mutuals, and I can tell you that it's really a, a great chance not, not to be obsessed with uh, quarterly uh, reporting. Let's, uh, let's take advantage of this um, long-term um, uh, capacity. Um, the other asset we have is um, trust. Of course, you can say all insurance companies provide trust. It is um, or social and uh, economic uh, responsibility. But in the mutuals, we pretend that indeed we are closer to the members. Uh, we provide solidarity, we have solidarity funds, um, we provide proximity. And uh, in, uh, in our current societies, so obsessed also um, with, um, uh, in fact, dominated by low trust uh, societies, uh, you see the rise of populism uh, in Europe, you, you saw the the results of the election in Austria uh, one week ago, in France, in Belgium, in the Netherlands, we see the rise of populism. You, we see Donald Trump on the other side of the Atlantic becoming the Republican uh, candidate. All societies are really um, worked um, by, these, uh, by these trends and the reject of the elites, the reject of uh, the media, the reject of big companies. Um, and to a certain extent, mutuals, as we are often on a national basis, or often small players or middle-sized players, we should also uh, use um, this uh, very specific positioning and, and really be a force for cohesion and stability uh, in our societies. And indeed, thanks to the statistics provided by Sean at ITMIF, uh, provided by Hilde and the, and the staff at Amiche, we see that the mutuals gain some market share year after year but small percentages, only small percentages. So how, how does it come normally? With such uh, assets, uh, we should overcome. With such assets, we should indeed uh, be very de desirable and attract uh, and inspire the others. Well, maybe that, um, uh, maybe that we are not uh, assertive enough uh, in our communication, maybe that we do not explain well enough uh, the mutuals model. Uh, maybe that we know not prove enough uh, our differences. Um, and in this age of uh, digital uh, revolution, we should always stre stress our strengths and, and prove our differences. For instance, um, in the digital age, we should say that um, the information we collect about our members, we will never sell it, never sell it to anybody, either in the industry or to uh, to a gas or to a, a telephone uh, operator. Uh, we collect information about our members only for the benefits of the members. And we, we should take uh, commitments that we will always um, do that. Um, maybe uh, it is not the answer, or only part of the answer about communication, about uh, commitments. Maybe in fact, and I come to, to the other expose, the, the sharing economy. Maybe that, in fact, the new name of the, of the mutuals, it is the sharing economy. Because there is quite a paradox. Uh, we are limited, at least I, I will talk for France, to very few sectors. Uh, you, you find mutuals and cooperatives only in the banking industry, in the insurance industry, in the agricultural sector, and in the health sector. If we were so attractive with such assets, as I said, normally, in, um, in, the new, um, uh, in the new sector, such as, let's say, uh, mobile phones, 
why don't we see uh, mutuals or cooperatives uh, coming? Uh, the creation of new companies, is, it is always listed companies. Um, so there is a paradox, we have some difficulties to, to explain there. So maybe the, the sharing economy is the answer. It is the new mutuals. But as you very well explained, do we believe that Uber is, um, is a model or close to our values? No, we don't think so. Airbnb? No, I don't think so either. Maybe guest to guest, maybe, maybe some other players, as you very well uh, explained. But clearly, uh, we have mixed uh, feelings about this sharing economy, and there is a lot of uh, confusion, as you just said, and hypocrisy about uh, this sharing economy, which sometimes has only uh, the goal to, to be listed in, uh, in Wall Street as soon as, uh, as possible. So I conclude, uh, I don't want to, 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 to be too long for, this, uh, for these remarks. Uh, I conclude with two, two ideas. The first is that if we want to inspire, uh, let's prove that our values are real. Let's prove that indeed, when we say proximity, solidarity, it's not only a slogan uh, on the wall. Uh, really, we take commitments and it's for real. The second idea um, is that um, in order to make a difference, uh, the regulators, and as Gabriel is in the room, it's uh, tempting to say a word about that, uh, the regulators need to, to give us some space to breathe. Uh, if we want to prove, if we, in order to be able to prove the difference, uh, please avoid uh, this uh, terrible uh, regulatory burden that we have already uh, talked about in the previous session, uh, because if we are just uh, overwhelmed with the regulatory burden, we will just be unable uh, to prove that we are different uh, from the other players because everything will become standardized and um, we will have, either we will disappear under this burden or we will not be able to express our differences. I look for your question in the discussion and thank you very much. Thank you.